In order to introduce its self-driving technology in the US and maybe in Europe, Tesla had planned to have it ready by the end of 2022. Elon Musk, the CEO of the business, said at an energy conference that one of his current priorities was to get Tesla cars to do self-driving by the end of 2022. While Tesla's autopilot technology has been in use since 2015, its full self-driving or FSD mode has been under testing since 2020. The capabilities of autopilot include autonomous parking, traffic-aware cruise control, and auto-steer when in clearly defined lanes. Complete self-driving mode entails all the functions of autopilot as well as the capability for the vehicle to navigate city streets while recognizing stop signs and traffic lights under your active supervision. When a driver assistance system is engaged, these vehicles provide steering and speed help, but the driver must stay fully focused on operating the vehicle. Tesla automobiles were involved in 273 of the 392 crashes reported as of May the 15th, 2022. The report does emphasize that these data cannot be used to compare the safety of manufacturers against one another because they do not account for the total number of vehicles on the road or vehicle kilometers traveled. But whether self-driving cars are safe is highly controversial. There's no easy answer to this question. The Center for Data Ethics and Innovations study issues a warning that self-driving cars may not simply be safer than conventional vehicles because they have a potential for bias in algorithms controlling the cars. Of course, this situation also has an ethical dimension. It would be more accurate for drivers to be informed about self-driving vehicles and to know with which vehicles they share the road. Would you feel more comfortable knowing a self-driving car is in front of you the option to watch something on the screen of the self-driving car does not seem very reliable for those other than self-driving. Although the data does not tell us anything clearly, Tesla has decided to withdraw 362,758 vehicles from the market as of February 2023. The FSD beta system may cause crashes by allowing the affected vehicles to act unsafe around intersections, such as traveling straight through an intersection while in a turn-only lane, entering a stop sign controlled intersection without coming to a complete stop, or proceeding into an intersection during a steady yellow traffic signal without due caution. According to a safety recall report on the website of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Administration. The FSD beta program is only open to Tesla owners who have installed the company's premium FSD driver assistance system in their vehicles. To gain access to the FSD beta, owners must consistently maintain a high driver safety score calculated by Tesla software that tracks their driving behavior. This recall is more thorough than the one Tesla issued for its beta software package to disable an autonomously controlled rolling stop last year. Although NHTSA was known to look into complaints regarding phantom braking occurrences, such aren't mainly included here. Regulators and safety experts have pleaded with Tesla for years to upgrade the safety features in its vehicles. Musk has even acknowledged that accidents utilizing autopilot are the result of complacency, yet he previously rebuffed recommendations from his own engineers to improve driver monitoring in the company's vehicles. At the time, Musk called the technology ineffective.